Now at 11, a sex offender arrested for what deputies say happened at a theme park. So the 51-year-old is accused of groping a Disney cast member. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is looking into this case tonight. So Nikki, was he allowed to be at that park? Matt, according to court records, he was allowed to be at the theme park. Now, while he is a registered sex offender, his probation was lifted in 2006. This after completing special house arrest, no contact with a child under 18 years of age, and no contact with victims or their families. Brian Thomas Sherman is the man Orange County Sheriff's deputies identified as the convicted sex offender who allegedly groped a cast member at Disney's Magic Kingdom on Saturday. In this affidavit, the female victim dressed in costume says Sherman first wrapped his arm around her. Then the victim looked down and saw the suspect's right hand on her right breast. Court records show Sherman is a registered sex offender. After the 51-year-old was convicted of sexual battery against a victim under 12 in 1991 and released from probation 15 years later. New Six legal analyst Stephen Kramer weighing in. But there are certain rights that sex offenders, convicted sex offenders still have. There is no law restricting their access to theme parks once somebody's off probation. Disney steering away from specifics but issuing this statement to New Six after we asked about whether they screen any of their guests against the sex offender registry. Orange County Sheriff's Office was on site and immediately stepped in. And this is now a law enforcement matter. Everyone should feel safe at work and we encourage cast members to come forward in any uncomfortable situation. A theme park always has the right to um, ask a convicted sex offender or any individual to not return to that park as long as there's not any discrimination at play. Now Sherman is charged with sexual battery and bonded out of jail tonight. Live in the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Nikki, thank you.